Hello everyone. We've got some really exciting news today. New satellite images came in and the research team found out that the magma chamber lies only one kilometer below the surface. And some probability calculations suggest that a volcano could be erupting soon. But it could also cool down. We just unfortunately can't predict that with our current knowledge and understanding of the Earth. There's also some news on the earthquakes and how they may play out. I'll touch on that later in the video, because I'm first going to show you these awesome pictures that the research team was able to make with the new information. Here you can see how the lava chamber lies from Keilir to Faradarsfjall. It's the red lines and the locations where the magma is most likely breaking its way up. It's of course under Faradarsfjall, which has been the most likely place for an eruption almost from the beginning. Here is a little 3D view of the place where the lava chamber lies under and it's the area that's farthest to the left where we are expecting an eruption. So based on the latest information an eruption is still believed to occur and the location would be south of the magma chamber out of the four that are also being closely monitored. On to the earthquake updates. There were slightly fewer earthquakes last night compared to what we've recorded recently. There have not been any earthquakes on the larger side since the 5 magnitude yesterday night. 550 earthquakes have been detected since midnight. In the nights before we saw 700 to 1000 in that same time frame. But what does that mean? Well, the researchers don't have any definitive answers on that since it's very hard to know what the earth is doing. They still have some speculations and suggest that we could see a similar gust of earthquakes like we saw last weekend, if the magma flow continues to increase. There were also some more evidence pointing towards the 6 magnitude earthquake that could happen due to release in pressure that has been building up between the two areas marked in grey. They would not be directly linked to the volcano eruption though. Here are some of the most likely scenarios. Feel free to pause and read them. And that's it for today, we've got these good updates that make me excited since we see that the magma chamber is only one kilometer below the surface. So if you want to know what happens in the next coming days, you should consider subscribing so you'll find the video more easily. And most importantly, a like since it helps the YouTube algorithm share the video, as I'm sure a lot of people would also like to know about the situation here in Iceland. Also, if you want to check out a website we made, that tells you if an eruption has started or not, there will be a link in the description. Anyways, I hope I see most of you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.